grand prize in front of Sherry Terro when we keep moving forward to all life's obstacles. I hope y'all are having a great morning. We made to see another day. We got another chance, so we should be thankful because most didn't make it through the night and most didn't make it to see this morning, but we did. So obviously we're here for a reason. And before I get started, this is like a public service announcement. Got the devil at the bottom of the deck. People are gonna try to like trick you out your spot, make you feel intimidated, make you try to get out of character when they see you. All because they see the shine on you and they are, you know, intimidated by, you know, your light irritate their demons, obviously, you know. They can tell that you could be at peace with yourself. Like, you know, you've already went through the dark night of the soul. So, you know, you know what it is and what it ain't. You see everything for what it is and what it ain't. And you know it is what it is, okay? So don't let these people trick you out your spot. This also goes for me too. There's a reason why I'm saying this. Like, when you can read people, read rooms and read people's energy and see, you know, obviously, you know, something wrong. You speak to somebody, they don't speak back, you know. You, at least you spoke, just don't speak no more, I guess. That's how, I, how I'm starting to say the older I get. Like, if I speak to you and you don't speak back, I won't speak to you no more, okay? Then if you speak to me, and then you wonder why I don't speak back, speak back, I'm gonna tell you why I'm not speaking back because I spoke to you before trying to be nice and you ain't speak back. So, you know, okay? But, don't let these people trick you at your spot. Cause I can't let them trick me at mine. There are a lot of pe better people in the world. Like the more you look at news break, the more you look at your phone, there's a lot of bodies being found. A lot of, okay? It's a lot. A lot of people being killed. A lot of kids being killed more and more. It's like, it's getting, it's seriously getting out of hand. So, if you can avoid some mess, avoid it. Especially if it ain't worth it, just avoid it. Don't let nobody, you know, rob you of your energy, sinking down to their level, okay? Don't do that. So that's for me and somebody else, okay? But before I get started, bless this reading so I can read these cards accurately and precisely with truth, with truth and clarity. Yes, yeah, somebody don't want me to talk. With truth and clarity, any negative energy sent towards me or anyone in the sound of my voice, anybody ten times follow. This could be past, present, or future. So take that into consideration. So somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a toxic person, or you could have some habits that you need to break. You can break them. You still have time. You have to want to. You have to want to end these cycles. You have to want to end these cycles with this world card and the devil. You have to want to. You have to have the willpower, the need to. Like, I quit smoking cigarettes and butt in my house. I used to smoke those. I don't smoke them no more. I stopped it, you know. For one, every time... I smoke, my throat would get so. I would wake up, my throat is sore in the morning. It's like I would, or during the night while I'm trying to sleep, it's like I can't breathe. So, yeah. Like sometimes, yeah. <clears throat> okay, somebody doing magic or something. Sometimes you have to, I still, I, I smoke a little marijuana. You know what I'm But uh, I don't smoke cigarettes or nothing like that. So, sometimes you can, like, you have to tell yourself, I can't smoke this, this is bad for me. I have to stop. Like, you got to, sometimes you got to drill in your own self. Like, you got to tell yourself that you know if you do this, what's going to happen. You know the outcome of this, right? 
You know if you keep smoking these cigarettes, or keep smoking these blacks, your throat will keep getting sore. You know what's gonna be the outcome of this, right? You're gonna mess around and uh have either a hole in your throat, you're gonna have cancer, throat cancer. Something gonna happen. Some some something ain't right, okay? So make a judgment call. Stop being scared. We know you've been through a lot, you guard it, like, but you ready for the next task. But make some judgment calls in your life. You ain't got to keep going through stuff. You, you, you don't have to keep going through things that you don't have to go through. Like, if you can stop go, stop going through it, make a judgment call. Stop it. Talk to God. Go to God about it. Help him help you. Let him help you. Help him help you. Help him. Okay? Yeah. I also need to make judgment calls on who they've been reconnecting with from the past. Okay, so Holy Spirit, what's the message from you to me through the cards? What do my woadies and woadettes need to know? Not what they want to know. What do they need to hear now that they want to hear? When it comes to their spirituality, what's going on around them in the messages, okay? We have justice. Someone could be a Libra, okay? Either someone going to court. This is why somebody going to court and a judgment call will be made and you're going to receive good news and y'all going to be out here celebrating. Yeah, this is something in the future. You all could, also could be uh, waiting on your ships to come in, dealing with something you invested in, could be getting some money back. See three ships out there on the water. So you could have invested something, started something three years ago. Okay, someone is very promiscuous and uh, like, somebody is very promiscuous and doesn't have faith. That's what I'm saying. They don't have faith. It's just fool in reverse and it's strength in the reverse. Somebody, somebody loose. Somebody loose, somebody loose, okay? Who's this loose person? Mm. A king of cups with the sun. Okay? So this king of cups, he happy though, he happy, you know? Very rejuvenating, but it's a little loose, like, he, he in his feelings, but he not Setting in no power. Also, he could be going to court. This King of Cups is going to court behind his son. Dealing with and a nine of pentacles. So I feel like this is a baby mother egg, baby mother energy. Got the hangman. Oh, devil came out anyway. Okay. So, this Nine of Pentacles needs to see things from a different perspective. Seems like she could have some addictions of her own. And that's what this court battle is about. I'm hearing the welfare of the child. That's what this court battle is about, the welfare of the child, okay? Also, this King of Cups was happy with this Nine of Pentacles energy or whatever they had going on, but he needs to see that it's very toxic. That's also another thing, okay? Give me some on this Three of Wands. This waiting, waiting period. What are they waiting for? What is this King of Cups waiting on with this Three of Wands? Please and thank you. Please clarify. Thank you for all the messages that you give us, ancestor spirit guides. Okay. He's waiting on a cycle to end. Oh. Okay. So they were married. This is like divorce. King of Cups is married to this Nine of Pentacles energy. Then, at first, she was a Queen of Pentacles. 
but he's ending that cycle. She was a queen of pentacles, but he's ending that cycle because, like, she betrayed him. Ultimate betrayal. But everything is fine. How did she betray him? What did she do? What did this nine of pentacles energy do? Hmm. She went and got counsel. What kind of counsel? This hermit, the cherry. I'm here an investigator. Like she like she went to an investigator on this King of Cups. Thank you. Got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Oh. She had a plan to connect with someone and to have a new beginning. So yeah, he he felt that. He found that yeah, yeah. Some in the milk ain't clean. Mm. I thought she could have went to a high priestess. She also could have went to a spiritual advisor. This investigator could have told her to, you know, move forward. And go connect with somebody else to start a new family. She also could be scared of the outcome of this. Uh, and she's scared that this King of Cups going to be victorious in this court case. Yeah, he's going to be victorious and this is all this is going to be made this is going to be made public. People are going to know about this. Mhm. Mm yeah, she was out here cheating. Also, she could have been dating this investigator trying to start a new family. Like, trying to have a new beginning with this investigator. Like, they playing. Yeah. With the moon on the bottom of the deck, hidden emotions towards this investigator. But not known, not known to this king of cups. What was that? Yeah, the emperor wanted to come out. Give me some on this ten of swords. She wants to come in and apologize. She probably wants to make amends because she don't want this to be found out in court. Yeah, because she's trying to have this new beginning. Also, she knows he will be successful at this court case if he wins. Got the lowest one to come out again. Got the tower and it came out sideways. Okay. So when it's coming out sideways, it's like it's coming. It ain't came yet, but it's forming. But it's like if it's coming out sideways, something about to go sideways. Yeah, something about to go sideways. Give me some. Yeah. Oh yeah, something about to go sideways. For this action that she took to be on top of the wheel. Yeah. Trying to plan this exit. Yeah, with this lover. That's what it is. She planned to leave and start a new life with someone. She was connecting with somebody else 
behind this cake cuts back. He could have found out. Yeah, she was accepting love hops for someone else. This Knight of Cups is falling right up under this Two of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles, y'all. It's like, yeah, she was accepting love offers from someone else. She got a family with this King of Cups. Hmm. Yeah. Facing all kinds of challenges at home. I'm telling you, I feel like he found out. How does, why is this King of Cups, let me see, how did this King of Cups find out that this Nine of Pentacles energy, mm, a King of Swords, a King of Swords, somebody told it, somebody told it, thank you, somebody told about the collaboration, about the teamwork to make the dream work, ooh, how they was building something together. Ooh. How they were building. Making plans. Ooh. Somebody heard it in the wind. She was out here making love to somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Been talking about this for a long time. This four of swords. She been on this for a minute with this emperor. Thinking about who got authority, who don't. Like, what she's wearing her option. What that was? That's like a three of swords. Oh, that's the nine of swords. That's like, mm, that's a conflict. She's wearing her options. Like, well, which one loves me more? Which one? I'm telling you. Hidden. Hidden emotions. Hidden emotions. Came on out anyway. Hidden emotions. Hidden enemy. Done in the dark. Come to the light. All right, all right, all right. You gonna learn today? What was this? Got a fight sit home. Yeah. He don't need to walk away from her. And that's why he leaving. She just don't want, she don't want the court to find out. Like she could have been doing some more stuff. Like it could have been some more stuff she was doing in the back, in the background, unbeknownst to uh, this King of Cups. It was like she's trying to figure out who gonna take care of me better than the other one. Hierophant. Who is more committed and loyal? I'm telling you, they were married. They were married with this hierophant. He's leaving this marriage. He's leaving this commitment. Tep, he's leaving this marriage. He's leaving this commitment. It's over with. He's heartbroken. He's sad. That's a wrap, okay? That is a wrap, baby. Yeah. Probably so is people gonna be talking about it. Like people could be talking about that high priestess. Yeah, because they all know now in reverse. That ain't hitting no more. People know. What is this? Yeah, she gonna have to um she gonna have to have some hope for the future. Also, she could be pregnant with this Empress card. Because we know they have a kids together, but she also could be pregnant. Or trying to get pregnant. Anything else? Hmm. She gonna be left out in the cold. Feeling way down with that anchor that's in between them five pentacles. She gonna feel way down. Oh. 
Y'all look at this. Her her son. I'm telling you, this is about the well-being of her son. This King Cook wants his son. He wants his son and he wants a divorce. He wants his son and he wants a divorce. And it's gonna leave her lacking. Okay. Any final messages? Yeah. Going back and forth. In her mind, like trying to win it all costs. Like, who is gonna take care of me more? Who's gonna do more for me? That's how she was, I'm telling you. Going back and forth in her mind, trying to weigh the options. She's been juggling two two men. Living two different lives. And that's the truth. And I'm gonna drop the mic on that because I, I, I ain't nothing else to say. Truth and clip. I ain't nothing else to say. All right. Hmm. But I always remember take what resonates and leave the rest. Take what fits to your story. This will be past, present, and future. Also, tarot is in the fluid. Man can embody female energy. Female can embody man energy. Okay. But always use your own discernment and talk to God or whoever you pray to or whoever you believe in. Have faith in who you feel like wakes you up every morning, okay? And remember, I always put God first in your life and everything going to be all right. But she don't know. But how she thinks it's going to go, it ain't going to go like that. But till next time.